Hello to all my fellow truth seekers. In this video, we're going to unravel a recent trend, the sudden surge of blonde hair. It's almost as if it's following Beyonce's event, her concert, where she prominently displayed all of her dancers with blonde hair. Shortly thereafter, everyone who attended the concert, well, not everyone, colored their hair blonde. Now, I know many of us enjoy experimenting with our hair color, but I'm talking about those who have never chosen blonde as their preferred hair color. It's a curious trend, isn't it? Let's dig deeper and, and guess what? It all comes down to MK Ultra and brainwashing. Oh yes, let's discuss. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. In order to understand this dynamic of having blonde hair, we need to go back in time. It was a time with blonde hair started to have significant power and allurement. Oh yes. It was in the 1910s where Mary Pickford epitomized the innocent blonde who needed saving. Her golden locks symbolized purity and vulnerability in her early cinema. This indicates that if a celebrity is on the verge of desperation, they may tint their hair blonde to symbolize innocent and purity. Listen to this. This indicates that if a celebrity is on the verge of desperation and need fame, they may tint their hair blonde to symbolize innocent and purity and more attraction. Listen to this, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna speak this in a story book format. In the heart of Hollywood, where neon signs flicker to distant stars, a hidden salon existed, a place whispered about only in hushed tones, its name, Aurelia's Attic. Aurelia, the enigmatic proprietor, was no ordinary stylist. Her fingers danced across scalps like a maestro conducting a sympathy. But it wasn't just hair she shaped, it was destiny itself, oh yes. Her clients weren't mere celebrities, they were pawns in a cosmic, majestic game. One fateful evening, a washed up actress named Eliza stumbled into Aurelia's dimly lit parlor. Her once golden hair had dulled, mirroring her fading career. Desperation clung to her like a moth to a dying flame. Aurelia studied Eliza's tired eyes. What do you seek, my dear? Eliza hesitated, then whispered, I want my golden days back. The allure, the magic. Aurelia's eyes sparkle. Ah, the power of blonde. It's more than pigment. It's a spell woven by ancient hands. Keyword spell. She led Eliza to a velvet chair where, she, where strands of hair fell like sunbeams. Aurelia's mixed potion, part moonlight, part stardust, and applied them to Eliza locks. As the dye soaked in, Eliza's reflection shifted. Her eyes brightened and her skin glowed. Beautiful. But there was a price. Araya leaned close. Golden hair carries memories. The weight of forgotten promises, stolen dreams. Are you ready? Eliza nodded, her heart pounding. Aurelia's whispered an incantation and Eliza hair blazed like molten gold. She stepped out of the salon radiant and reborn. Yet as Eliza flame soared, so did her paranoia. Everything comes with a price. Whispers followed her, Aurelia's curse. She glimpsed shadows and mirrors and heard echoes of forgotten lines and memories. Her golden dresses held secrets of star-crossed lovers, lost civilizations, and forbidden knowledge. Soon, Eliza wasn't alone. Other celebrities sought Aurelia's touch, like I want that too. A-listers, influencers, even politicians, all craving the magic of blonde hair. 
But each transformation exacted a toll. Some vanished mysteriously, their golden strands woven into fabric of time. Rumor spread, Aureli was an immortal sorceress, her salon a portal to realms beyond, people start saying. The truth? Mm -hmm. I mean, was she a guardian, balancing cosmic forces? Was her ancestor the Anunnaki, and they had given to her this duty? Blonde hair was their legacy at the time, a beacon for lost souls seeking redemption. Well, one day a recluse named Jasper arrived. His silver mane held centuries of wisdom. It was his icon, his beacon. He comes in. I seek answers. Uh-huh. That's what he asked her. I seek answers. Always asking questions, Jasper. Why blonde? Why now? He asked her. Aurelia revealed the truth. Blind transcends innocence and allure. It's a bridge between realms, a reminder that we're more than flesh and bone. Well, the facade anyway. Jasper eyes widen. And the cost of this blonde hair? Memories, Aurelia replied. They weave into the strands. Some find enlightenment, others madness. Hmm. As Jasper's hair turned gold, he glimpsed forgotten civilizations. The Garden of Eden, Atlantis, and Rams behind the stars. He wept, knowing he'd bear those stories forever. Hmm. Do I want to turn my hair blonde? I don't want to forget these things. And so, Hollywood's obsession with blonde hair continued in this cosmic mystic dance of fate. Played on Aurelius' attic. Legends whispered that when the last golden strand fell, the world would shift and forgotten truths would resurface. Which means when people are sick of blonde hair during this age of Aquarius because we are in the midst of a world and dynamic shift. This obsession is just the brink of awakening. Just watch. So I say again, when the last golden strand fell, the world would shift and forgotten truths would resurface. Blonde hair covered the truths, especially in the people who are bloodlines of that truth. Oh yes. However, getting back to Aurelia. But Aurelia remained silent. I mean, she was getting paid. Her eyes reflected eons. For she knew in every golden lock lay salvation and or damnation. A choice only the rarer could make. And so ends our tale. I hope you like it. It's nonfiction. It's actually the truth. <laughs> so remember my truth seekers, the next time you see a blonde bombshell on the silver screen, know that a universe beyond those shimmery locks is waiting to be unraveled. Oh yes. But also remember that many who dye their hair blonde are sacrificing their memories, their history, and their natural innocence. It's like selling your soul. You give up your authentic self for a facade of whatever the public wants. So when you see celebrities who suddenly dye their hair, they're trying to forget their truth selves and become a fake, glamorous, sexy, and vixen version of themselves. They're desperate. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think back to the 1930s, a different kind of blonde emerged. The Jean Harlow type. Mm -hmm. These platinum bombshells were racy, tough, and laden and in the window. Harlow's iconic dye job set the stage for a new archetype. Mm -hmm. Film critic Rafer Guzman notes that for male moviegoers, blondes represent something to be owned like an expensive watch. Marilyn Monroe, with her platinum hair, embodied this allure. She blended elegance with a touch of sleaze, captivating audiences worldwide and driving many men to lust after blind women for those qualities. Innocence and sex appeal is what most men wanted, and some still do.
As I just said, blonde hair could have somewhat innocent reason to its backstory. But in another case, it could be very dark and means a sign of mind control. Look at all the people that dyed their hair blonde. Look at what happened to them and how they behaved. Some people dye their hair this color to conceal the truth and reality of who they are and the people around them. Their blonde hair serves as a cloak over their artificiality and fakery. Wearing their real hair color is too strong and true. Many people struggle to deal with the truth about themselves and their past. You are aware that our hair serves as a memory card and a solar antenna. As a result, they damage their hair with artificial acid containing colors. This occurs mostly after they introduce themselves to the elite and agree to be their puppet in exchange for fame and money. Take a look at these clips. Why does every rapper dye their hair blonde? Just about every rapper that gets the superstar status goes through a phase where they dye their hair. If every one of these rappers are in their own lane, why do they all copy each other and dye their hair blonde? I mean, this goes on and on. Every single artist, and it's not even just rappers. You even got singers like Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, Zayn Malik, and the list goes on and on. Why does every rapper do this? When you essentially bleach your hair, you are damaging your hair. Not only does bleach destroy your hair, but it dissolves the melanin inside your hair. Those who don't know the spiritual power of your hair, you should go look into that. Your hair literally acts as a cosmic antenna. It absorbs vitamin D from the sun. It absorbs water. It absorbs energy just like a sponge. Your hair literally contains pieces of your unique DNA. But they don't want you to notice. That's why they give us things like shampoo. Running out of time. So Now let's move forward to another article that I found about Mr. Kanye West. And it says here, Kanye West, blonde hair and the psychologically of celebrities post-trauma hair changes. Okay. These post-trauma hair changes are a way for public figures to suggest that they've undergone a transformation. Or according to industry psychotherapist, Dennis Palumbo. This man, Dennis Palumbo, is down with the shits. He's saying that they undergone a... Uh, 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 suggest they undergone a transformation. Okay. No, he know what transformation they're talking about. The MK Ultra mind control, mind splitting transformation. That's what Mr. Palumbo's talking about. I'm pretty sure he has had his hand in the pot during their MK Ultra programming. Now let's continue. It says for people in the public eye, when you go into rehab, have a traumatic experience like being robbed, go through a painful and very public divorce, or have a career disaster of another kind, looking different is a way to demonstrate even unconsciously that they have a different persona. The Sherman Oaks Caleb based daughter explains to Hollywood reporters. He's a doctor in California, so this is a personal doctor. Of course, he's going to try to find some type of... Blonde hair has been seen as the pinnacle of beauty for centuries. But in Hollywood, or with the elites, it has a different meaning. Have you ever noticed a normally dark-haired celeb suddenly has shockingly blonde hair? It usually happens before sacrifices to take place, and or before they have a big project coming out, like Ariana Grande with her Thank You Next album. She dyed her hair blonde right before Mac Miller died. Suddenly blonde hair on a celeb can also signify being under MK Ultra, or can signify rebirth or transformation that the deprogramming has worked. So there is a deeper and darker reason why some people dye their hair. Remember, this does not apply to everyone. But remember that individuals who embrace their true hair color and uniqueness survive and leave a legacy that does not need drugs or anything to suppress their demons slash gins. 
The majority of artificial blondes die tragically as a result of drug use and violence and more. A visit to Melanesia's Solomon Islands, 1,800 kilometers northeast of Australia, will reveal a startling juxtaposition, where there is a significant amount of dark-skinned islanders with bright blonde afros. This has sparked a wide range of theories about the origins of this golden hair, including sun and saltwater bleaching, a fish-rich diet, and the genetic legacy of Europeans or Americans. A new study, however, points to a random mutation implying that blonde hair evolved independently at least twice in human history. Skin color and hair texture often give away the race of a person. Most Africans tend to have kinky or super-coiled hair. Europeans and Americans mostly have straight, silky hair. Blonde hair is characterized by low levels of eumelanin, a dark pigment, and is typically associated with white or Caucasian people. Hence, it's fascinating that some people of Melanesia who have dark skin and are believed to have originated from Africa have blonde hair. Although they all have the darkest skin outside of Africa, a significant amount of the indigenous Melanesian people have beautiful blonde hair. Melanesia is a sub-region of Oceania that stretches from the Pacific Ocean's western edge to the Arafura Sea and eastward to Fiji. This region encompasses Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Vanuatu, Solomon Islands, and New Caledonia. Many people assume Melanesia's blonde hair was a product of gene flow, a feature transmitted down by European explorers, traders, and other visitors in earlier centuries. However, a new study revealed that this assumption is incorrect. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below on that note. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and hit that bell so you can notification when I do post my videos. Love you all. See you later. Bye. Here's a brief word from my sponsor. The world's falling apart. Every day, another shocking headline makes you wonder what tomorrow will bring. That's why those who know what's coming are using today to prepare. I'm talking about getting your family some high-quality emergency food from My Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply is a nation's leading preparedness company. They've been in business for going on 14 years now and they've served millions of American families. Now they want to help you by giving you $50 off their popular four-week emergency food kit. Oh yes, you get four weeks of food per person with meals designed to give you more than 2,000 calories a day. By the way, this food stays fresh up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. Other food goes bad first, you know what I mean? So don't wait, go to prepare with my link with the truth and claim your four-week emergency food kit. You will save fifty dollars per kit if you act now. So prepare with me at preparewithtruth.com. Don't wait.